Hai, Assalamualaikum Selamat sejahtera Okay, apa khabar Semua anak-anak murid cikgu yang dikasihi Okay Hari ni kita akan teruskan Kita punya pembelajaran Okay, dan kita akan tengok Akan tengok 5.3 Okay Circumference and area of circle So Today kita akan tengok the relationship between circumference and area. Before that, you know that circumference is the measurement around a circle. Okay, look at the diagram. The diagram shows a round table that needs to be lined with skirting for a wedding. What is the length of skirt? Uh, what is the length of the skirting needed? Okay, the length for the skirting needed can be calculated using the formula that involve pi okay so this symbol is known as pi okay All right this one is the circumference okay circumference is the perimeter of the circle all right to know the relationship between circumference and diameter and what is pi you have to do this cognitive stimulation okay so this stimulation uh, cognitive stimulation in page 86 in your textbook is to determine the relationship between circumference and diameter what's the material you need is anything that have circular shape Alright, okay, either you have stopwatch, pail, bicycle, tire, measuring tape and anything that in circular shape. Alright, step number one, you have to measure the circumference of the stopwatch, pail and bicycle, tire or anything with the measuring tape. Okay, you have to use your measuring tape. Okay. Or you can use anything that you can measure the circumference. Alright. Next, you have to record the result in the table below. Okay, measure the diameter. After you have done with the circumference, you have to measure the diameter of the items. Okay, and then you record. Okay, alright. After that, you complete this table. What? Is the length of circumference for your material you have, okay, or the object you have, and then the diameter, and then find the ratio between circumference and diameter, ataupun find the value between circumference over diameter. Okay, okay. I hope you can done this one by your own, and. We will discuss the what you're finding from this cognitive stimulation. Okay, from this stimu a cognitive stimulation, okay, you know the relationship between diameter and circumference. Okay, what is the ratio? Okay, alright, from the above activities, ataupun from the cognitive stimulation activity, the ratio of circumference to diameter is actually the value of pi okay okay i know that you will get this figure okay you will not you will get this um uh, value 3.142 or uh approximately this value okay all right or okay you get this value 22 over 7 when you find the ratio between circumference over diameter. So, circumference over diameter is actually the value of pi. Right? The circumference of circle is pi multiplied by diameter. Okay, you have circumference. Okay, you have this circumference over diameter is equal to value of pi. Therefore, circumference is pi times diameter or pi d. Alright, and you know that diameter is 2 times radius. 
So the circumferent is pi times 2 times radius of 2 pi r. Okay. Okay, so this one is the relationship between circumference and diameter. Okay, for further understand about the relationship between circumference and diameter, let's look at this example. Okay, you have a circle. Okay, you have a circle and this one is the circumference. Okay, and this one is the diameter. Okay, now you have a circle. I want you to measure the circle. Okay, measure the circle using thread. Okay, and then you measure the diameter also using a thread. Okay, now you have two different threads. Okay, one for the circumference and another one for diameter. Okay, and by using the thread of the diameter, okay, use to measure the circumference like this. Okay, this one is the diameter. You use the thread, okay, around the circumference. Okay, this one is one diameter okay and the brown one is okay the brown is actually the diameter when you measure the diameter this one is the diameter that you use the thread that you use to measure the diameter okay you will get one two and three times of the diameter and another a little bit of leftover Okay, alright, the red one is the thread for circumference. And, okay, I take out the diameter that you have measure, okay, the thread of the diameter. One, two, three. Three times of circumference and you have another left over a little bit left over okay when you compare the length of circumference and the length of diameter let's say this diameter is 7 cm okay okay and this one the circumference when you measure you get 22 cm Alright, therefore, this one 7 cm, 7 cm, and another one 7 cm, and little bit left over. Okay, so, the relationship, just now you have known that the relationship between circumference over diameter is actually the value of pi. Okay, so... Pi is actually 22 over 7. Circumference 22. You divide by diameter 7 centimeter. Okay. Or what you look at when you ch uh, change the fraction into decimal is approximately pi equals to 3.142 so this one is the value of pi okay circumference therefore circumference is equals to pi d pi times diameter or you can use the formula circumference equals to 2 pi r because 1 diameter equals to 2 times radius okay so i hope you understand what is the relationship between circumference and diameter all right now we are going to look at the formula for a circle 
Alright, to know the formula of a circle, you have to do this cognitive stimulation. Okay, you have to open the file MS087. Okay, let's do it. Alright, you have to open this file MS087. Okay, in rimbunanilmu.my slash m80 underscore t2e slash ms087 okay now you have a circle okay with the radius one unit okay you have circle with radius one unit and you divide the circle into four parts Okay, you divide the circle into four parts. Right? And this one, you arrange the parts of circle, means that you arrange the sectors of the circle, okay, like this. Okay? But, you look at this one. Okay? Actually, now you, you are going to arrange the circle arrange the sectors of circle to ensure that you get a rectangle okay now what happened if you change and it into six means that you divide the circle into six parts okay you still have this one the balance so, okay you change into a you divide the circle into eight parts Okay. or maybe you not cannot see okay because this one is very small okay I change the radius into three okay All right okay I change the radius into three units okay radius three units okay you divide the uh, the circle into four parts you have four sectors and you arrange okay make sure you get a rectangle perfect rectangle okay when but when you when you divide the circle into four parts okay they are not you you not get the perfect rectangle now you change into six parts still you have balance for this side Okay, you change into eight parts or okay now I change into you look at look at what happened to this shape yeah okay the arrangement okay when you divide the circle into let's say 36 parts okay you get a perfect rectangle okay you you arrange the sectors okay you arrange the sectors and you will get a rectangle okay this one you look at the red line the red line is at the arc for the circle okay or a part of the circumference okay so this one is the okay actually the part of circumference so when you arrange this one this side is actually half of circumference and also this one is half of circumference okay so when you total this side and this side you will get the circumference and this side Okay, the blue line is the radius for the circle. Radius for the circle is equals to the this side. Okay, the width of the rectangle. Okay. Okay, let's discuss the finding from the activity. Okay. The more the more the sectors of the circle is divided into, the clearer is the rectangle shape produced. 
Okay, just now I have shown how you get the perfect rectangle. Is it? Okay, number two, the height of rectangle, the height of the rectangle, okay, this side is equals to the radius of the circle. The rectangle base, okay, the rectangle base, this is the base, is equals to circumference of the circle. Okay, so from the activity, we know that the area of a rectangle is equals to base times height. Area of a rectangle is base times height okay or 1 over 2 circumference why 1 over 2 because this side is half of circumference okay so 1 over 2 times circumference times height 1 over 2 times circumference is equals to the base okay and we know that circumference, the formula to get the value of circumference is 2 pi r. Therefore, 1 over 2 times 2 pi r times height is the equals to the radius of the circle. Therefore, area of circle, the formula of area of circle is pi r square this one is u simplify 1 over 2 times 2 okay and then pi times r times r you will get pi r square therefore area of circle the formula of area of circle is pi r square